Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Ares and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Patrice O'Neill at the Comedy Store England. So without any delays, let's get to it. And the thing is I haven't seen it so I'm so much looking forward to this. Here we go. People are full of shit, man. Really. <laughs> That's true. But I don't mind people being full of shit. I just don't like when people bring their full of shitness to me, right? I know. And try to make me feel uncomfortable how I'm full of shit to make me full of shit like them. <laughs> so that they feel more comfortable about how full of shit they are. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't really understand myself, but I know somebody <laughs> understood what I'm talking about. Here's people, just be honest. That's all I'm asking. Like, I was, I was on a train, and the train stopped. It was during, like, rush hour. And, and no one knew why the train stopped till the conductor said, folks, uh... There may be a half hour delay in service. Uh, a woman just was struck and, and killed by the train. And everybody went, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And then why don't you just be honest and do what you want to do and go, oh my God, this dead bitch is holding up my dinner! <laughs> oh, damn, how long does it take to move a face off the tracks? A half hour? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting tired of uh, famous people uh, making me give money to the disease that they got. Whatever, right? And I don't mind that, but it's selfish. But be honest with your selfishness. What, what I'm saying is, okay, I'm, I'm diabetic. I have diabetes, but I'm going to try to be honest with you. If I didn't have diabetes, that wouldn't be the disease of my choice. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so since I, I have diabetes, I want there to be a cure because I got it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Now, Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's disease. And that's terrible. But I just want him to be honest with his, his problem. I don't, because he's on TV every five minutes talking about how terrible the disease Parkinson's disease is. But I just want him to be honest with his selfishness. I want to ask him a question. I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, Mike, listen. I, I know you got Parkinson's disease, but what about cancer and AIDS? Aren't those important too? And I just want to see him go, yeah, it, they're important. But you know what? I ain't got that shit. I got somewhere. So I'm not gonna give money to something I don't have. Uh, um, <laughs> If somebody famous don't have your disease, you are dead. You are, you are finished. <laughs> you realize that, right? <clears throat> you just got to be honest with yourself. Like, okay, I believe in God, all right? But I don't have a religion. That's because I'm a coward. And that's, that's why I don't have a religion. Now, I believe in God, but I'm just saying, my thing is, I don't mind going to hell if I'm being a sinner. And I'm, I got to go to hell. My thing is, I'm afraid of going to hell for being like a devout Wrong shit. Like I, I, <laughs> I, I don't be praying to the wrong God. Why I could have been having sex with hookers or shooting people. <laughs> Only time I get really religious. Look at this guy. Only time I get <laughs> really religious. I, I become a Christian when I get on airplanes. That's when I get like you know. I don't want the plane to crash, so I'm helping old ladies with their bags. Miss, miss, no, don't. No, no, let me get that bag. Hold on a second. Let me get that. Uh, put that up there for you. Look, God, I'm helping this old bitch up with a bag. <laughs> Obviously, I heard it. <clears throat> I don't even know her. You ain't, you ain't gonna let the plane crash, are you? <laughs> and, and I'm full of shit because when the woman goes, thank you so much for putting my bag up. And I'm like, look, this, this got nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm just trying to keep the plane from crashing because when the plane lands and she's looking at me like, you want to get my bag out the door? No, no, no. We landed, I bitch. did my job. The plane's on the ground. <laughs> they want to be good. Like, okay, look, okay. Don't go too far ahead of me. You ever, you ever try to watch the Special Olympics and, and try not to be uncomfortable because it's the, it's the right thing to do? <laughs> And you're sitting there trying to watch and just... <laughs> <laughs> and you're not an 
asshole, but the 10 meter stumble, it, it's, <laughs> it's impossible to watch. You try to, you do, because you're a good person. <laughs> On your marks, it said, go. <laughs> <laughs> God, they fell. <laughs> and he didn't fall, but what's this guy doing? One day he didn't fall, but he didn't run because the starter's pistol scared him to death, so he's just standing there. At the <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta shoot at his feet to make a move or shove him. <laughs> now you gotta watch out because the javelin guy is running all around with a pointy stick and he ain't gonna stay straight ahead you know he's gonna run all over the place he's happy. and he can stab you right in your chest with that stick and yeah and hit you and if he hits you in your chest you can't even go ah you asshole you stab me with a stick you gotta go oh no everybody I'm fine no it's just a small hole in my, in my chest it's all right here sweetie try again no 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 So that was Patrice O'Neill at the Comedy Store, England. And the thing is, uh, I've heard the airplane joke, but obviously he tweaked it uh, a little bit here and there. <clears throat> but it was an absolute, absolute masterclass of the joke. Uh, the last one has to be my favorite. Uh, the uh, Olympic, uh, Olympic fun, because. He's talking about something everybody goes through and nobody's willing to accept it. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's all it is. Because it is an absolute brilliant joke because it's making you laugh on something that you all think about and you might actually go through in your head but you still do it because you don't want to come across as an arsehole. But it's an absolute brilliant joke. There's nothing wrong with it. And the whole joke, uh, getting stabbed and saying, oh no, it's alright, don't worry about me. You got eight inches and I'm just like, what the hell? It's absolutely brilliant, man. Patrice is brilliant, man. He's good. He was he was very good at his craft. That's where I love his and uh, uh, Bill Burr stuff because they both talk about, uh, what they call it, completely different stuff. But they're funny as fuck, though, at the same time. They're, they're long time friends and I absolutely love it man. I really did enjoy that. I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. Also, check out my Patrice O'Neill playlist. There's a few other videos there as well. So go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.